So a very quick video about uh, a new hobby, maybe is a word. It's not yet an obsession at least. And that is two-wheeled tractors. And this all started because in the barn we've had this trailer sitting here for the past six years since we bought the place. And um, it looks like an ordinary trailer. But the hitch is a bit different. Uh, it's, it's not a normal kind of car uh, hitch. So um, we were told, well, it's an Agria uh, trailer. And I agree around here is pretty synonymous with two-wheel tractors. Uh, they're built about 20 kilometers from here. And uh, this trailer is uh, from 1955. And the name of the original owner, Kurt Wagner, is written on the side. <laughs> and the back has a lovely Agri um, sign on it. Um, so basically, I wanted to get a Agri two-wheel tractor to drive it. Um, the seat's missing. Normally, you sit in the front there, and there's a, a foot brake and a hand brake and everything. And uh, then you, you steer it from uh, a position seated on the trailer. And uh, so I've been looking in eBay and stuff like that. And there's, there's plenty for sale. I just have to find the right type. But while asking neighbours and all that, um, one of our neighbours said, yeah, he, I have one at home, but it's uh, in pieces. And uh, he said, I can just take it and uh, play with it. And uh, I'm going to walk around the pieces now. So the handlebars are there. So we went and picked it up and the handlebars were off. The engine block and the gears and all that were all together. But that's the gear block uh, with the axle for the wheels. And uh, there's a drive shaft for powering uh, machinery. Um, and in this case, um, this is actually for a mower. It doesn't have a trailer hitch, so I, uh, we won't be driving with it. Uh, but still, I'm taking it apart. That's the, the gear box. Uh, the engine is here. It's an ELO uh, L152, uh, two stroke, 148 cubic centimeter, six horsepower. Here we go. I sound like a complete tractor geek. This is all completely new to me, but uh, since taking it apart, I'm just putting it back together now. Um, yeah, it's a bit of fun. Um, but then we found the reason it was sitting in pieces was the uh, there's a centrifugal clutch uh, which was broken so they obviously took it apart trying to find why it wasn't running then found that this thing was broken and uh, they just left it there uh, this was 15 years ago they took it apart and uh, they went and bought a, a proper <laughs> rotary mower um, so that's that but meanwhile uh, another friend uh, his son said that they had one sitting up in their workshop and uh, it's been sitting there for three years, hasn't been used. And I went up and it wouldn't start. And uh, But we thought just because it's been sitting there for three years, the two-stroke fuel was a bit uh, old, let's say. And uh, I picked it up yesterday, today's Saturday. I uh, picked it up yesterday, uh, no, what am I saying, Thursday evening. And then uh, yesterday I uh, spent a few hours taking it apart, cleaning the air filter, which is an oil bath filter, uh, cleaning out the carburetor, um, which was all actually perfectly fine, but it just wouldn't start still. Even I uh, changed all the fuel lines because they're a bit uh, brittle. A uh, new two stroke in, and it uh, still wouldn't start. And then a friend popped around, and he knows about engines, he builds model aircraft. And uh, we eventually figured out that uh, there was a short circuit basically. There's a circuit breaker that you press to stop the engine, and that was basically stopping it from starting. So once that was done, that was okay. And the only other thing that's a bit crappy is uh, uh, there was a pump here. The, the, the fuel line is really weird because the outlet on the tank is lower than the carburetor. So uh, there's a little pump in here that when it's running, keeps the fuel circulating around. But before you start it, you have to manually pump it. And the, the original one was like a sponge. And when you pressed it, fuel was squirting out all over the place. So I got one for a chainsaw and uh, there's a little hole in it and I had to patch it so that would work and that's fine works great has three forward gears one reverse gear um fun to drive i have to say it can go at i think 16 kilometers an hour it's not very fast but steering is just a complete bitch um so it doesn't have a differential gear so that the two wheels are being driven together at the same time so if you're trying to take a corner at anything more than a snail's pace it just kind of will kick and rip your arm off um, which happened today, I fell off it. <laughs> the thing is, once you let go, it just keeps going. <laughs> um, but it does have a lever here that, uh, so if I try and do that now, the wheels stay locked together. And if I pull this lever, this will introduce, uh, 
a differential and that makes it much easier to steer. So you have to remember to, to pull that lever every time. It's, it's a bit crap. Um, but that's the way it is. Uh, you can get other ones. That's why I want an Agri. This is an hol a Holder H7. And um, it's not really for going on the roads, I think. And if you're going up, uh, which we did today, going up a dirt track, and it's very uneven, and then one wheel gets a grip and the other wheel doesn't, it starts kicking left and right. And it's really hard on the arms when you're sitting here. Uh, so I was driving up with differential engaged the whole time just so that it wouldn't uh, push me off the seat again. Anyway, uh, so the whole idea we wanted to have this was to be able to drive up and down to the orchard and uh, the trailer is a bit small actually, it's smaller than our boot so it ain't really worth it to be honest but it's fun and uh, eventually I keep looking at an eBay and if I find an Agria 2600 or 6000 this is a pretty decent sized trailer and uh, yeah, you probably need insurance and stuff to be driving that and the electrics have to be fixed and all that, but uh, it's just a lovely thing and uh, that's what started all this off. So, more stuff to take up room and uh, I'm going to continue trying to get that mower uh, put back together and although they, uh, although some of that gear is missing, um, I'll, I'll get the motor running and uh, maybe we'll be able to repair it some other time. So, there's the little update.